Blessings, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Prophetess LaShondra. If you're new to the ministry, we welcome you. If you've been with us for a while, we praise God for you. We pray that you're growing in the Lord. And I am super excited to share this word with you all today. I believe that it's going to really encourage you and bless you. As many of you have been facing this, and the Lord was speaking this to me, and he was talking about how the enemy is trying to coax you out of what God has promised you or shown you. And I want you to think about this. To coax someone out of something is a gentle yet persistent persuasion. So a lot of you have not been getting necessarily attacked in this uh, loud or, or very bold type of way, but it's been very persistent and almost like this gentle way of these subtle whispers, of these little nudges trying to get you out of agreement with what it is that the Lord has already revealed to you. The Lord is so wonderful. He will reveal and show us and speak to us, give us dreams, give us visions, confirm something through a prophetic word. And then all of a sudden you get that coaxing from the enemy that is trying to pull you out of agreement with that. And so if that's you, I really want you to listen. But God was saying this, Although that's what's been happening, he, thank you, Lord, he is going to override that. So whatever it is that the enemy has been planning to try to coax you out of, God is overriding it in the name of Jesus. Right now, I just want you to say override in the comments. Say override, override. That's something that I've been doing since I received this word. When there have been these little things, these little subtle attacks that have been going on, I just say, thank you, God, for overriding it. Thank you, God, that your plans for me, that they prosper in the name of Jesus and that the enemy's plans for me, they fail every single time. Thank you, Lord. So I want you to just receive that right now, that God's plans for you, Jeremiah 29 11, that the Lord knows the plans that he has for you and those plans that they will prosper in the name of Jesus. The, the plans of the enemy, they fail every single time. I want you to just start saying this. Just wake up saying it, decree it and declare it every day and just say, thank you God for overriding the plans of the enemy in my life and that your plans for my life, that they always prosper. The Lord was reminding me of the three Hebrew boys, right? when they were in that fiery furnace. And although the enemy had one plan, thank you, God, hallelujah, I just feel the anointing. I thank you, Lord, for your presence. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you, Lord, for how you are breaking strongholds. I thank you, Lord, for what it is that you have done. Many of you have felt like you have been in that fiery furnace. Some of you, the attacks have been big. Some of you, the attacks have been small. Whatever it's been, whether it's been small, it's big, in between, whatever it is, God is saying that he is overriding those things in your life. And so the, as the Lord was saying that how yes they were in the fiery furnace but God said he was going to override that thing with it what the enemy had planned it didn't work it didn't prosper they came out of the fiery furnace not even smelling like smoke so praise the Lord for what it is that he is doing in your life as God continues to elevate you as he shows you his glory in the midst of the trial some of you that's what's happening you're looking for God to remove you completely and totally and God is saying, I'm showing you my glory in the midst of the trial. So if that's for you right now, just start to receive, lift your hands and say, thank you, God, for overriding the plans of the enemy. Thank you, Lord, that you are faithful. Thank you, God, that you remain true, that your word stands, no matter what it is that the enemy tries to coax me out of. Thank you, Lord, that I am standing on your promise. I'm standing on your word. I'm standing on what it is that you have told me. I thank you for the dreams. I thank you for the visions. I thank you, Lord, for the impressions in my spirit. Many of you have st have started trying to dismiss the impressions that you feel in your spirit. A lot of times when the Lord is doing something, he doesn't always tell you from A to Z what it is that he's doing. He'll give you an impression in your spirit of what's happening. He'll let you know just an inkling of what it is. And so it's up to you to grab hold of that. So today, right now, I want you to grab hold of that promise. Grab hold of that vision. Grab hold of what it is that you've been feeling in your spirit. Whatever it is that God has promised you, he is faithful to do. Yes, we have to go through it. Sometimes we have to go in the furnace. Sometimes God in his mercy 
mercy and his grace, he'll allow it to go up to that point and then he'll say, I'll pull you out before you even get in there. But some of you, you're in there right now. How many of you are in the fiery furnace right now and you've been praying and you've been asking the Lord to set you free? God is saying that he's overriding what it is that the enemy has been trying to do against you. And I feel this right now. Some of you have been getting attacks against your children, against your health, against your mind, against your body, against your spouses, against your jobs even. And these are all areas where God is saying he's going to override. Now, how he overrides is up to him. But I want you to just say override. Thank you, Lord, for overriding these situations. Thank you, Lord, that you are moving things out of the way. Thank you, God, that you are moving things out of the way, even within me so that I can receive what it is that you have for me. So whatever it is, and some of you right now, it's like just this little drop. Sometimes God will give you just enough renewed strength so that you can see his glory, so that you can see his hand, so that you can see how he works and how he moves things out of the way for you. So sometimes it's just a little drop. Thank you, Lord, because the Lord even says all that we need is a mustard seed of faith. So thank you, Lord, for the mustard seed of faith right now. Some of you right now, I want you to to think about this. Think about the Jeremiah 29, 11. If you're filling in your spirit to release a seed, with just that mustard seed of faith, do it with the 29, okay? Do it in connection with the Jeremiah 29. So I thank you, God, right now for each person as they release that seed. Thank you, Lord, for even the mustard seed of faith because you're saying that sometimes all it takes is just that little bit to start something big. Sometimes all it takes is just that little bit to start something big. As the Lord is directing you and you feel led to sow, then I want you to have that in your heart, have that in your mind and say, thank you, God, as I release this seed, then I'm naming it override. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for overriding situations. Thank you, Lord, that the people that continue is what I'm saying right now. A lot of you have been getting attacked by people talking about you, whether that's in your family. Thank you, Lord. That's what God is saying. A lot of it has been in your family. A lot of it has been on your jobs and people just constantly talk about you. And you're like, why is my name always in their mouth? And it's because of what God is doing in you. Not only is he building you up and he's strengthening you and he's telling you this is the, the direction that I'm taking you in, but it's because the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is always going to attract, uh, it's always going to attract arguments. The glory of the Lord is always going to attract that. Think about that. The glory of the Lord is always going to attract conflict because people don't like it. But praise you, Lord. We magnify you. Thank you for your glory that's on us. Thank you for your glory right now. Thank you, God, that you are overriding every situation right now and that your promise remains true. As we stay committed to you, as we stay connected to you, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your glory. Thank you for your glory. Thank you that you're overriding situations. Thank you for renewed strength. Thank you for the mustard seed of faith. Thank you for how you help us to endure. Thank you, God, because you said perseverance is key. So thank you, God, for renewed strength to persevere. Thank you, God, that we are coming out of this greater. Thank you, God, that we are coming out of this with more anointing. Thank you, God, that we are coming out of this with more faith, more wisdom, more strength, more stamina, more endurance. God, we bless you. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We give you the glory because it's all about you right now, Father. We look to you, God. We look to you. We look to the hills. For where does our help come? It comes from you. We give you the praise. In Jesus' name, it is so. And amen. All right. If this word was for you, and uh, I want you to just say override, like I said in the comments. And if you feel led, if you're feeling it in your spirit to sow a seed, do one in conjunction with Jeremiah 29. So the 29. All right. And know that God is working on your behalf. No matter what the enemy tries to do, God is good and he's the ultimate power. All right. I love you, family. Have a blessed day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.